Hi, this is a video on derivatives dealing with the product rule. And this is the first uh, video in the series. So this is going to be in the introduction. So here, uh, well, what's the product rule? And I wrote the product rule right here. And so the product rule is the derivative of f of x times g of x, uh, which is equal to the derivative of f of x times g of x plus g of x times the derivative of f of x. And now, I rewrote it down here because I think it's it's much simpler if you write it this way. Um, this symbol right here, the, the slanted line up top, that just means you're taking the derivative. Um, and I, I don't really like to write the d of x uh, so much because it takes up a lot of space. Or this f of x times g of x because then it gets, uh, I think it just gets cluttered. Anyhow, so if here down here I wrote uh, x times y. And then you want to take the derivative of it. So what's happening is you're multiplying two different functions. And you you want to know what the answer is when you take the derivative of both of them at the same time. So uh, the way it works out is you, the first thing is I, I just write the, the equation right out as xy plus xy. And then I'll put the derivative on the first one and the derivative on the second one, on the outsides. And that's that's how I write it, and I like to remember it that way. So uh, let's, let's, let's jump straight into a problem. No, it's not moving down. Okay. So let's let's work on this one. So how do we solve this? So again, we're going to work with that formula. So uh, we want to know what the, we're going to multiply these two together, and then we want to take the derivative of it. So uh, the equation is x times y. Taking the derivative, then you're going to put xy plus xy, and you're going to take the derivative of the first one, and then you're going to take the derivative of the second one. So let's let's plug those values in. So, mm, so the x in my equation is actually f of x, and the y is g of x. So let's enter those values in. So uh, let's put in x to the fourth because that's right there. That's f of x. And I'm gonna multiply by y, which is just e of x. And I'm taking the derivative of the first one. We're gonna write it down again. So now. I'm going to write x to the fourth and times e to the x. We're going to take the derivative of the second one on there. So let's come here. Uh, let's take the derivative, the derivative of this part. So when you take the derivative of x to the fourth, you're going to end up with 4 down here, x to the 3 times e to the x. So we took the derivative, and then we just wrote it right there, and then we just brought this value straight down. So here, we're not doing anything to this, so we're just going to bring it straight down. And when you take the derivative of e to the x, all you get back is e to the x. So this, this, the second part of this equation doesn't change. So now, uh, and there's not too much to do there, so we're just going to write that down as 4x cubed times e to the x plus x to the fourth power times e to the x. And that's what you would get for uh, for this function doing the product rule. Now your teachers might ask you to simplify it a bit more. So if they do, uh, you can go ahead and do that. And here we can take out an e to the x because that's common to both of them. And we can take out a x cubed out of them. So we put down x cubed times e to the x. And that just leaves you on this side with a 4. And over here, it just leaves you with an x. So if you multiply e or x cubed times e to the x into 4, you're going to get uh, 4 times x cubed times e to the x. And then if you multiply this into there, then you're just going to get the, the x to the fourth power times e to the x. So that's how you, do, that's how you deal with these. Um, 